Hello and welcome to another RV tour here at Haylet RV, Coldwater, Michigan. <laughs> just kidding. This is a uh, real sharp little 19 foot Rockwood hybrid that just came in. Um, all in all, pretty good shape. If I'm being picky, it could use a, a surface bath and that's just being picky. There's nothing wrong with the trailer. It's in great shape, it's late model. They, uh, they loved camping. They were camping a lot and they said, you know, It'd be nice if we had something that we didn't need to set up any beds or anything like that as much as we go camping. So I swapped this out for a big old like 35 foot bath and a half double slide outside kitchen bunkhouse here at Halitz. And they're just as happy as can be. Um, all in all, like I said, real good shape. Just needs a quick surface bath. But like all of your uh, exterior stuff here, everything's in good condition. You know, like you can still see the, the gleam on the skin. You can see the decals are not peeling. Um, comes in 3,512 pounds of dry weight. So again, something that uh, an SUV can tow uh, with proper tow packaging. Now, every towing vehicle has its own little different hiccups and, and, and quirks and things like that. So if you're not sure what your vehicle tows, give us a call. We're trained on all that stuff. That's what we do. Give us a chance to do our job and you know, you'll see why we bring so many people in from all over the place. We ship these things out. People come from all over. We have aggressive pricing. We make deals happen. Um, What's nice is this is essentially a floor plan you can find in like 17 foot hybrids, but a little bit bigger and you're picking up a tandem axle here, which is going to make this thing tow and handle a lot nicer behind your vehicle because it, it's going to equalize your load a lot better. It's not going to be quite so um, tipsy um, like a seesaw. If you got a single axle, uh, you know, you've got one fulcrum point and the thing's going to tip. When you have a double, it now has to really work to try to get over that essentially. Um, outside speakers here for your stereo. You see we do have a nice awning for patio space. This outside storage right here goes under the sofa that you will see inside. That is one of the interesting thing with hybrids. Um, you know, every RV is the best for different reasons. I really, really believe that. Like Rockwood is the best overall selling lightweight on the market between trailers and fifth wheels. A lot of it's their construction. I mean, name a lot of other RVs you can do this. You know, you just can't punch the ceiling of an RV a lot. Uh, you can do the same thing to the walls, the floors, the front and rear walls. Everything's uh, fully vacuum laminated, fully aluminum uh, skeletoned and framed. Um, that's why Rockwood is such a good seller because of the, the quality, the longevity, the reliability that comes with owning a Rockwood. Um, but, uh, you know, like I said, every RV is the best for a different reason. Like a hybrid is cool because this is a 19 foot box. You're tip to tail, tongue to bumper. You're towing, I don't know, maybe 23 foot. Um, but you, when this thing opens up, you get the benefits because of the way these beds don't eat up floor space of probably a 30 foot trailer. The only hiccup, the only caveat, is we really don't have a lot in the way of outside storage. So uh, plan your load, plan your camping accordingly. Every RV's got great benefits, and, and but they, you know, you can't have it all in one trailer. Basically, a uh, little extra storage uh, shelf above here, just any little space they could open up, they did. Again, another thing with Rock was the quality and longevity. Their cabinetry is just stellar. You know, I have absolutely no concerns about beating all over these. I do it for a living. They're fine. Front and rear heated bed mats, by the way. And there are power outlets down here to either power that or maybe a phone charger or a CPAP machine or whatever your personal needs may be. Um, the uh, Genesis uh, unit up here is AM, FM, uh, CD, and DVD. And again, that does connect to your outside speakers. So you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, trying to um entertain the family outside and whatnot there's auxiliary inputs and usb plugs and sd cards and all kinds of widgets and whiz bangs this thing can do pretty much everything you need it to do um you can actually also shut off your outside speakers so if you guys put a tv up here previous owners looks like they did install a swing arm mounted flat screen up here aftermarket and uh, uh took that with them a lot of folks will do that um if you uh install a tv and you want to watch your uh, arnold schwarzenegger commando shoot him up at night you know get to the chopper um, you can shut off your outside speakers and only listen to that in here and not blow the neighbors away with the sound of a submachine gun or a 50 caliber, which sounds really cool by comparison. Uh, freestanding dining table here. You can actually move this thing around anywhere you want. Uh, what's cool about that 
is uh, you can use it outside like a picnic table and just use this like an open lounge. And that's gonna make this 19 foot trailer feel a lot bigger inside. That's actually not a bad idea. It can fold down. This can be an extra sleeping space. The sofa can jackknife into a sleeping space essentially. Um, Usually hybrids don't have a lot in the way of kitchen storage. They put a pretty fair amount in here. There's actually a pretty decent amount of cabinetry. Now what I like is how deep these cabinets are. You can see this. This goes clear up to my uh, my elbow, basically. So there's some very good storage in here. Um, I'm a uh, tall guy with long arms. Now rather than an oven, they gave you every ounce of counter or cabinet space they could in here. So you've got this extra cabinet down here that otherwise you'd sacrifice. Now the oven would actually dip down below those doors, so you're getting extra storage down here too. It's kind of a, a two-fold uh, process. To give you a little bit of counter space, they did put a sink cover on here, and then it's nice that the previous owners left it. It looks pretty clean. That's an indicator I've learned to look for. When we walked in, you saw that pantry or closet, whatever you want to call it, right next to the refrigerator here. And this is where the 19 and the 17 foot floor plans uh, in hybrids start to differ. The 17 foot models just don't have the room to have the extra storage here. They don't have the room to have all this kitchen space here. Those are the big differences between them. You've got uh, a fifth wheel sized air conditioner mounted up top here, so in this little box you're not gonna have a problem uh, keeping yourselves cool. These are a couple of the reasons why also. These uh, little bunk light fans, which in all of the 50, 60 plus years of camping, no one has yet come up with a better name for these than bunk light fans, but then again, sometimes less is more and simple is effective because that's exactly what they are. What these things do, you can hook them on these, uh, th this bar is called your shepherd's hook that holds your hybrid um, tent material up. You can hook them up uh, in different ways and they provide light and um, uh, a way to circulate air in these hybrid tent ends that otherwise you wouldn't have because, you know, there's no way to put central AC or a fan up here. So this gives you uh, a way to keep that air moving around. And again, power outlets nearby for appliances. Um, those bunk light fans actually plug uh, like right into these little uh, things right here. Um, if you're familiar with uh, guitars, they kind of look like a guitar jack, essentially. Um, bathroom here, uh, obviously not the same size as a fifth wheel, but in hybrids, this is a very nice bathroom. Couple things. They're using the same fifth wheel size sink here in this little hybrid that they use in their big uh, fifth wheels at Rockwood. That is cool. And actually, that's the thing. They make this as consistent as they possibly can, like the roof construction that I pointed out earlier, that's straight out of their fifth wheels. They only build RVs one way at Rockwood. They're all built the same for consistency's sake. That is another nice thing about them. Um, lots of leg room in front of this toilet too, so a tall guy like me can actually use the bathroom, you know? Um, and the, uh, the, the shower wall surround panels here. This is keeping uh, the, the shower water that sprays off your body when you're um, bathing. It keeps it from potentially soaking into your wall panels here. Now, if you don't have this, don't have a heart attack. It's not the end of the world. When you're done showering, take your towel and wipe down the wall. You'll be okay. This is just nicer because you just don't got to think about it. Also, we've got a big fifth wheel size skylight above the shower here. Very cool. And a fifth wheel sized uh, power vent fan in here. And a lot of people ask, why is this door slotted? You know, why, what, they were too cheap or they didn't know how to measure the door properly and that's not it at all. This is a, there's two benefits to this. First of all, um, in this little space right here, uh, when we are using the facilities, it is sometimes an odorous situation and this is an exhaust fan. So this is something that benefits the whole family. Secondly, heat rises. Heat will form a thermal blanket against this nice, well insulated, laminated ceiling. While you leave that fan on at night, you leave like a kitchen window open and it will suck all that hot air up here into the bathroom, out the fan, and keep this nice and comfortable. Uh, so there's, uh, a, I mean, this is this is a nice camper. You're gonna get a nice deal on a used hybrid here. It's been really hard to keep used hybrids in stock this year. I don't know if we're pricing them too cheap or what, or if it's just super popular. But what's cool is you don't need uh, to change your tow vehicle. You don't need a big expensive thing just to go camping. This is an excellent uh, family camper. If you've never owned an RV, it's a good place to start. If you're tired of a pop-up, uh, a hybrid is your next logical step. And just little detail stuff like the fact that we have a double entry step instead of a single. Um, you know, the uh, the tandem axle nature of these. And th these are torsion axles, so they each move independently. It's not a leaf spring. So what that means in English is the trailer's not going to bounce behind your vehicle. It's not going to toss you around in the vehicle. It's just going to be a better, more comfortable.
comfortable experience, but a lot of that is because it's a rockwood. Used rockwoods are hard to find. Um, that's why I don't have a bunch laying around despite being a rockwood dealer. That's the hardest thing with rockwoods. It's, it's like a one-time sell. People just don't tend to trade them in. And had these folks not gone to a much larger bunkhouse, they'd probably still be camping in this today. So, give us a call. 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping. Hitching. Pieces. Parts. Financing. Trades available. Take care. Have fun. Cause a little trouble, but not too much. <laughs>